so today I wanted to do my July favorites and um, this was my first favorites video so I have my products here. I have six beauty products, two hygienic products, one skin, one hair, two foods, technically three foods, and a miscellaneous one and maybe a couple other miscellaneous ones. I have to think of those. Well, not think, but like... I'll get to them later. I'll mellow on them because they're like my music. Like, what music do I like? Um, and oh, TV shows. I'll get to that too because I am a serious Netflixer. I that's what I do. I get home from the pumpkin patch or pig, and I take a shower and I sit on my bed and watch Netflix for six hours. It's not even funny. I'll just jump into it because I want to give all the information I want to give in under 15 minutes because I don't think you can upload any videos higher than 15 minutes and I tend to ramble and I tried to do this once and it was like 17 I was like crap anyway so um start off with beauty products I'll just start off with face this is my benefit hello flawless foundation um this is in honey my color is honey um so this is, I don't want to show my nails, <laughs> but, um, it's just a very, um, it's a very nice foundation. It's very light, but you can totally build this up to a higher coverage than it actually is. I like to just cover my face, well, not cover it, but, like, I like to put it on my face just to even it out, because I do have a very uneven complexion. Um... And like some blemishes and whatnot. And I like that this, I put one pump on my hand, use my stippling brush and stipple it all over and blend in, blend in, and just makes my face look flawless. And I just love it. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, next, the uh, other face product that I love. Um, this is my second one of these. This is the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Mineral Powder. And this is in Natural Ivory, number 20. And I have hit pan on my second one. Um... I just use this like all the time like there's no I use this like all by itself with my foundation with with my um to do moisturizer with my primer with my anything anything this goes on my face um I just have no bad words for it it's just it mattifies my face I mean I do have to touch up during the day like around my nose um but other than that, it's nothing. I mean, it is, it's wonderful. Um, so next product, this is my Revlon um, Not Just Nudes Cream Shadow Quad. And my favorite two colors are the two middle ones. Um, this one is a light champagne tan color. Um, it's like very shimmery. Well, not shimmery, but like, it's shimmery. But it's not glitter, it's like... It's like, um, oh wait, that's the dark one. That's the dark one. And then this is the, see, it's like a sheen. But those are two of my favorite ones in the quad. I use them under all my eyeshadows. I used to use the Urban Decay Primer Potion, but after I found out that these did the same thing for my eyes, my eyes don't get oily and they don't crease, but my eyeshadows, none of my eyeshadows, none of my high quality or low and um, eyeshadows will stick onto my eyes if I don't have a something under. So this does wonderful. I've been I've gone through two of these, and so this is my second one, and I need to go buy a third one. And I got my mom using it. She bought because she she noticed that I was doing this. She's like, "You use a cream eyeshadow under your eyeshadows?" So I was like, "Yeah, it does the same thing as the primer potion thing for me." And then she's like, "Oh," and then so she got a different cream, like an Elf one. She was using that, and then I saw this in her drawer the other day, and I was like, I told you it's great. Anyway, so my mascara that I've been using, this is the um, L'Oreal Waterproof Voluminous Black, Carbon Black Mascara, and it just looks like this, and this is the brush, it's just, I love how it's so basic, but so wonderful, and it makes my eyelashes like... They're like a little bit clumpy today, but I don't think they're that clumpy. Um, I don't know why those are sticking together. But, I don't know, it just like makes my eyelashes wonderful. Um, 
And then with the last two beauty products, um, I have two brushes. Um, I have the MAC 242 brush, and this is just like a flat shader brush, and it's small. Um, it's that big. Excuse my sausage fingers. Um, but I don't know how I lived without this one. I use this for everything, but mostly mostly my, um, my lid. Um... It's just wonderful. I have other shader, like eyeshadow shader brushes, but they don't do the same thing as this. Like this can really like pack it on and then like smooth it out. Like it's just great. And then I have this Sephora like angled eyeliner brush and I had never used an angled eyeliner brush and then I found this and it's made my um, gel eyeliner experience a complete different experience like it's great like it's so easy to put a line on and like it's so easy it's great um and for my hair product i have this um organics renewing moroccan oil moroccan argan oil penetrating oil um i used to use the moroccan oil like the brand moroccan oil um, for a while my mom bought a bottle and she kind of used it but she didn't use it as religiously as I do I used it every time my hair was wet and that just worked wonders on my hair and it was great and my hair is like has been so healthy and soft for like years now because I've been well not years but like at least a year since I've been using the Moroccan oil but um so I've been so I decided the other day I'd get this because it's a lot cheaper but it's basically the same thing um, and it I feel like it does the same thing my hair is still nice and healthy there's been nothing bad um, I've been using this on the ends and like a little bit in the creek roots just because I feel like I feel like I wash my hair every day and it needs a little bit something in the roots and I feel like I can trick my hair that if there's a little bit of oil then it will get so oily the next day and it does pretty good job um, and then I use my um, Bedhead su Superstar Blow Dry Lotion for Thick Massive Hair. I've been trying to use that. I've been have I've been using that for about a week, and I'll talk about that maybe in a few weeks if I get used to it and like like it. Um, I mean, for now I've been liking it. It doesn't give me like ridiculously thick hair, but it does give my hair like a texture. Like my hair wouldn't normally just do this on its own without without that lotion, but. It's just another serum that I put in my roots and I blow dry it with and it just gives my hair that nice texture that I like. Um, and then I just use a heat protectant and whatnot. But anyways, I don't know why I was rambling about that. But yeah, this has just been wonders for my hair. And then for my skin product, um, if you don't know about what I've been talking about in my previous videos, I've had a lot of moisturizing, like you know how you're supposed to use a moisturizer? I've been having a lot of moisturizer problems. I have not found a lotion, I mean a moisturizer that I like to use on my face I found one oh my gosh I love it this is the clean and clear morning burst hydrating gel moisturizer and this is um just a gel moisturizer it looks like that and it's just like it's so hydrating and cooling and it smells like aloe it's, there's probably aloe in here or something it just cucumber and green mango extracts and it just it, it does what it says it does and just it's wonderful my face doesn't sweat it out and it just I love it so much and next I will use this um, I'll talk about this I have this Neil Med um, sinus rinsing kit thing um, I use this specifically for my piercings um, because for piercings you're supposed to clean them with a sinus rinse I mean not sinus rinse, a saline rinse um, they buy the pre ones that you can buy like a you know the simply saline or just saline solution you can buy that like in a can but I feel like that's a lot more expensive than this um, this I could use just normal um, non iodized salt but um, my mom already had this salt so I just decided why not use this um, so this is just um, some non-iodized salt packets. They're cute little packets. Um, I like this big. Big as my nose. 
a little bit bigger. Um, and I just put a packet in this bottle and I fill it up to four ounces. Um, you're supposed to fill it up one packet for eight ounces, but that's for your nose, I mean your sinuses, and I don't do that, so this is great. Um, so this just cleans. I got new piercings. I have three new piercings. I have my cartilage, my double holes on each side. And um, yes, I do know that my ears are not equal. Um, I got my ears pierced when I was small and my ears have shifted and moved since then so my ears are definitely not equal to each other. Like this, if I turn to the side, you can see all three piercings. This, if I turn to the side, you can barely see all my double ones. So, my double holes. So, that's a problem for me since I'm so OCD and I don't like wearing my earrings on my first, like my first lobes because it just is unequal. I think about, sorry, it's not right. Um, I'm thinking about getting my ears re-pierced, um, letting these two close up and then getting them re-pierced so that they're equal because right now they're not at all. <sighs> but I love my new piercings. I've been wanting my doubles and my cartilage pierced for so long. So I use that to clean them and this just squeeze like up. You can't, if you put it upside down and squeeze, it doesn't go out, but if you well, up and squeeze, it comes out. And I guess this would be a wonderful like sinus rinse if you're into sinuses, into sinus rinsing, but I don't do that. I don't feel a need to. Sorry. Um, then I have the Secret Scent Expressions Clear Gel Deodorant. Um, I love the Clear Gel Deodorants. I I have I've gone through a few of these, and then I just decided that I would try to use other kinds like the Tom's the Tom's um, kind, but the stick. And I don't like it. And but I've switched over back to my Clear Gel because I just can't. I just can't function without it. Um, and this is the Mango Passion, Pas Passion de Tango, and I know that's Spanish, Passion de Tango, and it smells wonderful, and does its job, so yeah. Yay, now on to my other favorites. I have the Sinky Candle and Black Cherry. This is my absolute favorite candle. I can't live without it. I need to... I just bought that one, and I th I'm thinking about going and getting another one. I don't know why. Um, for two beverage things, um, this Lala milk, you can get it at Mexican stores like Vallarta or um, Ranch Market. You can get this at Mexican stores. Um, this is the Mexican milk. It's just, um, this is the English side. This is um, just vitamin D whole milk. This has a unique t like taste. Like, it's different than, and this is also box milk, if you couldn't tell. And this has a longer shelf life. This will expire February 11th, 2014. And so that's like a few months from now. And it just, um, I just, I have like three of, three boxes. I have two in my fridge and one in my pantry. You can keep these in your pantry for so long and they don't go bad. And it's just, I love the text, the text, taste. And they also sell a lactose-free one, so if you're into... If you're um, lactose intolerant, they also sell a lactose-free one. Um, it's a green. It's not red. It's green. Just remember that if you want to go check it out. Um, and then, this is like a two-in-one. So I love these glasses. These are um, just vodka glasses, the absolute kind of vodka. Me and my mom, I mean, my mom drinks it. I'm underage, but um, I, I just love the look of these glasses because they literally just took a bottle and cut it off, to cut off the top, and it sanded the top down I made glass out of it and it's just beautiful to me this is the citron one um, and we also have the orange one I forgot the name of it but it's like mandarin or something and then the two-in-one so the two-in-one is the glass and the beverage inside I have been obsessed with sweet tea and just just it's just normal sweet tea and I've just been obsessed with it and so that's basically it for all my favorites and I hope um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm thinking about doing one next for, for the month of August, but I'm not sure because I don't know if I'm going to have enough favorites. favorites. Um, so yeah, uh, I guess that's it. Um, please subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!